Yes, man. Good shit. That's a win right there. Great job. Great job. Tomorrow's off. Then we get on the road. Ready to win. Ready to win. The interim tag is gone. Head coach first win. Congratulations. Jacques, you got your first official win as head coach of the Brooklyn Nets on Wednesday. We saw you get the game ball. Did you do anything else to commemorate it? What made it special? Yeah, first of all, the Kevin giving me the game ball and stopping, I guess, my post-game speech and uh, uh, presenting the basketball to me it was extremely, I don't know, important to me as a coach. Uh, made it official, and uh, off we go as a team. And I just spent it with my family, uh, hugging my sons and my wife, and uh, it was pretty cool. Where are you storing that game ball? It'll be in the trophy case, okay. uh, so I'll keep it. There's some good memories here, and hopefully those memories continue. Absolutely. This team has been through a lot in the last couple of weeks. You told reporters earlier today that you have yet to speak with Kyrie Irving, but as we near five games of suspension coming up, what is the plan to communicate or reintegrate with him? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think overall as an organization, my job has been to concentrate on this team right here that, that's at hand. No excuses, uh, and when we reach that uh, time with Kai, then uh, we'll figure some things out. But right now, I've been focused on this group and leading this group. So when you reach that time, that time isn't quite now. So let's talk about the here and the now. Kevin Durant, you guys have been playing through him a lot lately. What have you liked about that? Overall, he's really been a hub for us. His usage rate is high, and he's doing a little bit of everything, whether it's pin downs, whether it's posting up fours, drawing a double team, whether it's handling the basketball. So his unselfishness and his ability to lead for us has been an all-time level. What is it about the relationships that you have with these players? That's something that we on our show talked about a lot that allowed you to sort of pierce through during this difficult time. I think overall, hopefully, my transparency and my uh, genuine approach with these guys on a daily basis has, uh, you know, brought me a, a reputation with them. Uh, whether it's my morning hugs with Joe Harris or whether it's me checking on, uh, you know, a, a rookie. And so uh, those things go a long way, and I've prided myself on doing that for the organization. Morning hugs with Joe Harris. I, I, I love that. You know, a little a little something. Why not? He, he's, uh, he's, we've been together a long time. Mm. And so uh, to be able to share uh, the experience this time um, is pretty special. Finally, Jacques, what gives you confidence that this group can get back to that place where your preseason goals were getting up to that mountaintop of being a championship contender? I think we got an unbelievable person and talent in Kevin Durant that's leading this group. That's the first piece of it. I think we have a group of young men in the locker room who want to play hard and play for each other. That's what I've tried to tap into, keeping things pretty simple. We have space on the office end of the, end of the floor. You share the basketball. And on the defense at the end of the floor, you just play hard. Jack, thank you. Thank you. Back here with Adrian Wojnarowski. Woj, when I was at the Nets facility earlier today, it actually it stood out to me that the vibes around the team are pretty good right now. If they keep winning on this road trip, what could that mean for Kyrie's immediate future in Brooklyn? Emily, I think that's going to be the really interesting question. Even you know, once Kyrie Irving is able to to satisfy the league, the Nets, the Players Association with how he remedies this situation. I think the next step is, how are the Nets playing? Uh, what's, the, what's the mood, the, the feeling around that team? And do they believe, as an organization in that locker room, coaches, management, ownership, Kevin Durant, that adding Kyrie Irving back to it mm. makes them, it gives them a better chance to win? And I think uh, so much will be, will, will be told on this road trip, how they play. But I think that's a, a, a legitimate question. I think that's going to loom over this team is do they believe after all of this that putting Kyrie Irving back into the lineup makes them better? And it might, but I think that's still a question that's going to be answered uh, later when he starts uh, getting closer to a return. That's something that we're certainly going to keep an eye on. Woj, thank you so much. We'll see you a little bit later on NBA Countdown. All right, Melika, speaking of return, do I get my glasses back? After oh, my bad. Thanks for, thanks for letting me borrow these. Thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.